Hello, I'm Victoria Fritz. In the business news this morning, the UK construction industry performed at its weakest level for four years in the three months following the referendum. There were large falls in repair work and these were only partly balanced out by small rises in infrastructure and public building. More on this in just a moment. China's economic growth might be slowing down, but it looks like nobody's told its online shopping fanatics. Today is Singles Day. It's the annual shopping event in China that is bigger than Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Now, Chinese online retail giant Alibaba made sales of more than $1 billion in less than five minutes and hitting more than $13 pounds, $13 and uh, no, $13.5 billion, sorry, after 16 hours, looking to set to break records. And an unexpected U-turn in market sentiment has lifted the pound more than 5% against the euro in just two days. Sterling, or rather the British Bulldog, is on a tear this morning, having broken and accelerated through some key psychological trading levels against both the US dollar and the euro. Let's talk about construction because the industry has churned out its weakest performance for four years in those first three months after the Brexit vote. Our firms are being hit by investment uncertainty and soaring costs from the falling pound. Just to put this in context for you, the industry accounts for about 6% of the economy. Nevertheless, the details of this latest report will make for some pretty disappointing reading for the government as it bids to get house building going to address a chronic shortage of housing in the UK. Let's speak now to Kate Davies who is a statistician at the Office for National Statistics. Um, Kate, do you have any good news for us at all on house building? When we look at the figures we've released today, what we see in terms of house building is that it's relatively flat, but that's been buoyed by figures within the public sector for house building, where we have seen quite considerable strength in, in September. But what's uh, more important in terms of looking at house looking is uh, house building. Sorry, is that we look across the piece and actually consider where we're at in terms of new orders within this sector. Now, for quarter two 2016, we saw very strong growth within the orders that were placed for new housing. Now, these will start to feed through into output in the next couple of months, and so the picture in terms of housing on the horizon is much brighter than the figures suggest today. You say that, Kate, but the problem is when you talk to house builders, they say that they can't find the people to go and build these houses in the first place. And they think that the problem's going to be exacerbated when we get any kind of boost to infrastructure spending because all those brickies and all those sparkies, that they're all going to be working on public sector projects rather than on houses. That's uh, one of the things that is going on within the construction industry at the moment is a skill shortage within um, the, the, the labour force, for example. However, that's not an area that I have a full extent of knowledge on and can comment on. But what we do know is that it is, it is having a small impact now on those figures. And if that skill shortage continues, then it will continue to impact in the future. Uh We've seen sort of a, a bit of a downturn when it comes to commercial construction hit by some of the investment intentions by firms. Um, do you think that the sort of the increase uh, that we might see in public sector spending and infrastructure is going to offset some of the falls that we'll see in, in the private sector? But what we have to remember with public sector spending in construction, it's actually quite a small, small fraction of what we see in spending overall in the construction industry. So for in order for it to have a, a significant impact, then we'd have to see 10, 15% growth rates month on month, quarter on quarter for that to impact the overall construction work. Now we have seen a slowing in terms of private commercial work, but what we do see is strength within the um, the infrastructure sector and whilst housing is flat as I've said new orders show that there is more work coming into this industry and into the infrastructure industry as well. Kate Davis, thank you very much. I apologise I'm not wearing my poppy. It came off as I was running down the stairs. That's it from me. Thank you Victoria, thanks.